on the Red Horse Ranch. Now, to the folks from Red Horse Ranch who are all attending the big rodeo in Danville. Both Steve Bradford and Alabama entered their prize horses in the first race of the rodeo. But as the race got underway, something went wrong with Red, Alabama's beautiful horse, causing him to throw Alabama and lose the race. Surely by this time, Alabama knows why Red went so completely out of control. We join them in the evening of the same day. But he's promised to quit it just for my sake He ties up one foot and the saddle puts on With a swing and a jump he is mounted and gone The first time I saw him was late in the fall so He was swinging bumper. the girls at Tomlinson's Hall He laughed and he talked as we danced to and fro Promised never to ride on another has a gun and that gun he can use but he's quit his gun fighting as well as his booze and he sold him his saddle his spurs and his rope and there's no more cow punching and that's what i hope now all you young maidens wherever you reside beware of the cowboy who swings a rawhide he'll court you and pet you and leave you and go in the spring up the trail on his buck Hey, Alabama, you better eat some of this chop cookies got ready for us. I ain't no mind to eat anything. Thanks, though. I guess Bradford's feeling all right winning that race this afternoon. Uh, Alabama, have you told the judges or anybody else about what made Red act up the way he did in that race? I ain't alibying to nobody. I don't reckon my telling the judges that I found cactus on a red saddle blanket would make any difference anyway. But you didn't put the cactus there, Alabama. No. And you sure can't blame Red for going wild. Any horse would go loco with cactus under the saddle. I'd like to get my hands on the dirty rat that pulled that stunt. I would too. Here I've been training Red for months just for this rodeo. Been telling everybody what a wonderful horse he was. <laughs> I can just imagine what everybody's seeing now. Yeah, Bradford's been strutting around today like a peacock. Bradford, I'm telling you, Alabama, it ain't gonna hurt nobody for you to do a little investigating. Well, it'd be pretty hard proving anything. I guess I'll have to leave it up to you to beat Bradford's horse in the finals. Well, that was some race you run today, Idaho. I didn't know your horse had it in him. Say, if he runs that good in the finals, you'll be bringing that prize saddle back to the Red Horse Ranch anyhow, Idaho. Yeah. Maybe so, but I won't be deserving it. Oh, say, come to think of it, Bob, all the folks camped around the rodeo ground might like to hear your song. Shall we sing it for them? You mean Dogie's Lullaby? Yeah, that's yeah. the one. All right, let's do that one.
folks ought to like that one, all right. Say, Dewey, are you getting plenty to eat? Of course I am. Only I'd like some more bacon and beans. Well, here comes Cookie back from the chuck wagon. He'll have some for you in no time. Hurry up there, Chuck Cookie. Gosh, Cookie, I wish you was always as fast as you was this afternoon. Yeah, but I still can't figure out how Cookie caught that grease pig. Lousy, <laughs> Mr. Cheyenne, that was easy. Huh? Easy? <laughs> I told you I was going to catch that grease up. <laughs> it sure is too bad we didn't get to see you win that contest. Was there anybody else entered in it? Yeah. What are you talking about, man? Of course there was. I caught that grease pig before he got started. Yeah. How did you do it, Cookie? Wasn't that pig greased all over? Sure it was greased all over. That didn't make no difference to me. Well, how did you catch him, Cookie? Well, uh, just... Uh, Miss Idaho, yeah. what is you do when you want to hold a brown horse down so you can saddle him? <laughs> well, the best way I know is to grab his ear between your teeth and ear him down. Yes, that's what I done to that hog. I yelled him down. <laughs> <laughs> sure, play us something, Monty. A fella can hear that accordion on a good many miles on a night like this. Uh, Going somewhere, Alabama? Well, I just thought I'd walk around a little. You like to come along, Dewey? Sure. Come on, Elizabeth. <laughs> Alabama. So am I, Dewey. I guess I ain't much of a sport, though, for getting mad about it. Well, I don't blame you for getting mad. I'd get mad, too, if somebody put cactus under my horse's saddle. Who did it, Alabama? I wish I knew. Say, you kept your eye on Red this afternoon before the race like I told you to, didn't you, Dewey? Of course I did. I watched him while you was gone. Now, you're sure that you watched him every minute? Are you, Dewey? Yes, just like you told me to. What you asking me that for? Now, you didn't go away anywhere, even for a minute. Well, maybe I want to get some lemonade once. Only that didn't take very long. Lemonade? Huh? Then you were gone. You didn't watch Red like I told you to. Well, that man said it'd be all right. That man? What man? Listen, Dewey, you've got to tell me about this. Who told you it would be all right? I don't know who he was. He said he was your friend, and he wanted to buy me some lemonade. I don't see what's wrong with that. Well, would you know him if you saw him again? Of course I would. You know him, Alabama. He was the fella that wanted to bet with you. Steve Bradford. So that's it. Huh? What you talking about? Oh, nothing, Dewey. Come on. We'd better get back to camp with the rest of the boys. Come on. A girl with heart so true One who loves nobody else but you I want a girl just like the girl that married dear old dad I want a girl just like the girl that married dear old dad She was a pearl fat The only girl that man we ever had A good old-fashioned girl with heart so true One who loves nobody else but you like a girl of very dear old dad. <laughs> well, well, you wasn't gone long, Alabama. No, only long enough to find out something pretty important. Dewey, you'd better get on up there to the wagon and get some sleep. But ain't I gonna sleep out here on the ground with you, Alabama? You'd better do as I say, Dewey. Come on, I'll go over to the wagon with you. But what'd you say about finding out something, Alabama? I'll tell you later. Come on, Dewey. 
Ella Bam, you're mad at me, ain't you? You ain't gonna lick me, are you? No, Dewey, I'm not mad at you. If I was, I wouldn't lick you. I'm just a little bit disappointed in you, though. What for? Just cause I didn't watch Red even for a minute? Yes, Dewey. That was your job I gave you to do. That one thing you've got to learn. A real buckaroo needs his instructions once, and that's all. I guess it was my fault you didn't win the race then. No, I'm not blaming you for that. But that's all. I've got to go and talk to the boys. Come on, get up in the wagon. <clears throat> uh, good night. Good night. I'm awful sorry, Alabama. Oh, forget it, kid. We're not going to let them get away with it, are we? Good night, Pod. Good night. have a feeling Red may get to run in that final race. We'll still be at the rodeo when the Red Horse Ranch is on the air again, so be sure to listen. Listen.